Today I'm going to run through a very quick and simple um, glute activation and hip strengthening circuit that you can do at home or in the garden. Um, you actually need no equipment at all, although I will be using these three resistance bands. So there is a light, medium and a stronger one for resistance. Um, but as I said, if you don't have these, it's really not a big deal. Certainly since I've started doing these exercises, I've found that my injuries have been much, much less. I've just got much stronger core, um, much stronger hip strength and glute strength as well. All three of those things are very, very important for running form um, and for your running stride as well. So the first exercise is going to be a high knee drill. I'm going to choose the light resistance band and throughout the exercise I want you to really engage your core and drive the knee up. Second exercise we're going to do are some crab walks. So the first time we're going to go side to side and the next time we'll go forwards and back. So through these I'm going to pick the medium resistance band. I'm going to really focus on engaging that glute and move, driving the glute as we go to side to side, trying to keep the hips as level as possible as we can. You're gonna really drive the leg out diagonally and really, again, engage that glute and really try and fire it up as, as strong as you can. So the next two exercises we're gonna do are on the ground. So we're gonna do some clams, again, the resistance band around your knees and um, of course if you want a little bit more resistance you can move up to the stronger band and if not you can move down to the lower one or even have no resistance at all you really don't have to have these in order to get those glutes firing and working um, so we're going to ensure that our pelvis is in a really neutral position um, and again you should really be engaging that glute and firing that before you lift and drive the knee up Next exercise on the list is donkey kicks. So for this one, we're going to be on all fours, fair band around your knees, and you're going to drive up that leg. So almost like you're trying to kick the ceiling. And um, again, you should be really, really feeling that burn in both your glute and in your hamstring as well. The final exercise we have is hip thrust. So again, fair brand around your kneecaps and you're going to act as if you're going to sit down and then you're going to drive up through the hips with tensing your glutes on the way up. So thanks for following my at home workout. I hope you guys aren't too sore in the morning. Um, but I would do two sets, start off with two sets of 10 reps and of course build that up week on week in. Um, it's something that takes a lot of time in order to get that glute and hip strength. It doesn't happen overnight, um, but these small circuits are really, really crucial to building that, that strength and endurance, certainly for running as well. Um, for me, I've certainly noticed big differences in my stride length and form as I'm running. Um, so yeah, keep up the good work, keep safe, stay at home, and let me know your progress.